Yo, what is up? Joshua Casper here. Welcome to another Max for Live video tutorial. Um, this one's going to be on the si very simple delay line version 3. Um, if you've been following along, you know that version 1 had a time delay where we could adjust it in milliseconds. Version 2 had a sync delay where we could sync it to the global BPM of our project. And both had a dry, wet, and feedback um, dial on them. In version three, we're going to have, uh, we're going to include both of that. We're going to include the time delay or the synced delay. And uh, we're going to have a toggle switch to toggle between the two. So if I have time activated, my sync will not be activated, but my time will. And if I toggle it over to sync, sync will be activated, but time will not be. You can see that it's changing color as well. And we're going to get into all that good stuff inside of the project. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. If you haven't been following along, you should go check out those other tutorials, the first two links below. If you have been following along, hopefully you have a working version of uh, the very simple delay line V2. If not, uh, the blog has all the source files as usual. So we're going to start with uh, this very simple delay line V2 and edit from here. So I'm going to open it up in Max. I'm going to go to patching mode. I'm going to unfreeze it. And then I'm going to come to save as. And you should save yours as a very simple delay line V3 synced and time. I'm going to save mine as uh, tutorial because I already have one and it looks pretty and that's the way I like it. So I'm just this is just for me. But save yours as this right here. So I'm going to go ahead and save. And now that I'm working in this new version, I can go ahead and make some edits. I'm going to open up my window, make it a little bit bigger because we've got a lot of stuff to do. I'm going to highlight all these bad boys and I'm going to kind of bring them over like this. I'm going to bring this over like this. And I'm going to bring it over like this. And I'm going to leave this loop because I like it. Feedback loop and I just, I just like it. So uh, boohoo if you don't. But anyway, I'm going to take this, um, this tab over here live tab and move it over and I'm going to sever this tie right here. Oh, right. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is highlight this bad boy and bring it down and bring this down. So now I've got some more room and this is where I'm going to put my live dial. I can put in live dial. Might as well just put it in right now while I'm talking about it. Cool. I'm going to put it right here and I'm going to come into the inspector and rename it and stuff like that, uh, including the presentation. Yes. Um, I'm going to title it time. Cool. I'm going to hit link to scripting name. It's going to automatically change the long name for me. And I'm going to title it time. Sweet. Enable yes. Initial enable yes. Zero. And units time because that's what we're working for. Uh, everything else looks good. And close out of here. And while I'm thinking about it, come into this bad boy and um, inspector. Where is he? There he is. And come down and rename this sync. And it will change it for me and sync. And that's good. I like to have it all looking good. So here we go. And the next thing we do, N, and I'm going to do flow number. Displays an output in a number. Boom. And I'm going to take this to here and this to here as well. Line, make it look pretty, sweet. And then out of the flow number into the tape. Line, makes it look pretty. That's good enough. Um, and I need to do two more things. I need to first make the toggle switch, which I do by hitting N, live dot text. There it is. And then I need to come into the inspector and make a bunch of changes. First, uh, yes, I want to include it in the, the, uh, the presentation. The background, background color, is there any way to move that over? Oh, right here. The background color off active, I want to change it to a yellow or orangish color. That looks pretty sweet. So when, and I'm going to change the, the tags for these, but when it's 
the off is active, it's going to be orange, and when the on is active, it's going to be green. So this is going to be time, and this is going to be sync. And we're going to go down below to change that. And I'm going to rename this and call it mode. Yes, mode. And range, I want to have the value 1, I'm going to have time. And the value 2, I'm going to have sync. Cool. And I'm going to come down some more. I'm going to update zero. Initial value, yes, zero. Um, boom, boom, boom. And we're going to rename this text off label. We're going to name time. And text on label, we're going to name sync. And that's, oops, sync. All right, that's how we did it. Yeah, this all looks good. Boom, 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 boom. Cool. We're going to close out of there. So that's good to go. And if we lock it and we click it, you can see that it's changing. So that's pretty cool, right? So let's go ahead and save. It's just good to keep saving.